Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. I realized that in order for me to go to the next level of my marriage, it's not only about a mindset, it's about perspective. Babe, come here for a second, please. All right, and I'll even get up and allow you. Come on. Would you have a seat here? Oh, thank you. Yes. Let <laughs> me find me talk to you for a minute. I love on you for a minute. She hates this, y'all, because yes. she's more of a quiet person, so I'm just going to be a flamingo, just rub on you. <laughs> In front of all these 200 people. Look, look at her. She only, look, she's very uncomfortable right now. Oh, yes. yes. I am. Okay, I'm about to get up. <laughs> so, 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 Faith, I want you to explain to everybody what was the feeling that you felt when we had that issue. You, you want to sit? You no, know, I want to stand. Okay, then I'll sit then. Yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay. What was the feeling that you felt when I finally, you know, like for real, I wasn't defensive, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, when, when, when you were like taken aback, you're like, whoa, you're not really, what was that feeling like? Just um, Originally, the, what was the question? <laughs> Remember when we had that little altercation last year and you were yeah. like, yo, don't do it at the expense of my family and you kind of just pretty much gave me the... Yeah. Very big lemon squeeze. What was the feeling when you saw that that um, that I didn't fight you or wasn't defensive or? Well, yeah. So origin. Okay. Originally, I felt. Um, oh, sorry. Praise God. Yes. Um, I felt surprised because in the past, um, when we would have disagreements or arguments, he would get very defensive. So then, soon I learned that. Well, I can't really bring anything to him or any kind of, you know, offense that I feel like I've been, like, if, if I'm feeling a certain way, I can't share it with him because he will get defensive. And that in turn made me shut down. And so I would have to bottle it inside. But the problem with bottling it inside is that it sooner or later. It Push up both pipe. And so now something that could have only been on a level one or two turned into a level ten. And so now I I'm feeling away and he might come into a room and something very, very little has turned into something extremely big because I've held you know six months worth. <laughs> of something and so now it's some now he doesn't even know why I'm upset because it happened six months ago or it happened eight months ago but he I'm I'm going off on him because of something very little so that's how it was going on for you know quite some time and I said well prior to going to him I said I'm going to try this a new way I'm going to take this to God first because in the past I had it and I said I'm just going straight to him with the issue and I was coming off as as he explained it to me later disrespectfully and so because we had not done a lot of the assessment and we were still learning and whatever coming to him with what I was going through in a disrespectful manner or very I'm, I'm Puerto Rican Latina so we get very hey wepa passionate and and for all my latinas out there we we when we speak i i speak with my hands and to him he wasn't used to that no no you don't speak with your hands you do all of this right here i don't know what this is can anybody school me on what this is i don't know what this is and oh, oh grayland like what is this right here i don't know what that is like somebody school me <laughs> so, as, as I was saying, I had, to learn, <laughs> I had to quickly learn that that was offensive to him. He felt it was disrespectful. And so I had to calm myself down before coming to him with an issue. And um, so I hadn't previously ever spoke to God about it prior to you know, coming to him and I said, I'm going to try this a new way. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to ask God to give me guidance. And and that helped immensely because not only 
did the issue that I was having with him at the time, um, it, it went from me feeling on 10, they brought me down and God calmed me down. The Holy Spirit was able to calm me down in a way that I was able to relay something to him in a respectful manner. And I was able to speak to him, you know, in a loving way. And he was able to receive it in a way that did not put him on the defense. Because prior to that, as I said, going to him with all of this and you don't, and I'm like, and I can't take this anymore, and blah, blah, blah. He was like, whoa, and right away he would get defensive and say, that's, I'm not cool with that, and then he would have to defend himself for it. So going to him um, afterwards, after I prayed, I was calm, I went to him, I spoke to him, I said, this is how I feel about a certain situation. You're not spending enough time with us, with the children. You're constantly in the office, all of that, as he explained before. And when he said, okay, so what do we do about it? I, I was, I was extremely surprised because that was not his response in the past. It was to give me the clapback ministry. It was to say all the reasons why he was doing a particular reason and don't you know why I'm fighting so hard for our family and I'm doing this and I'm working this and I'm working and I'm all over the place. And so those to me were just all excuses by then. Um, but when he said, well, how can we fix this? I, I was extremely surprised and it took me back and I was like, wow. I was like, this praying business helps. <laughs> and so um, we were able to come to a resolution very quickly. Um, and I revamped his calendar because as he's mentioned, I am the structured one. And he has no time management, but we, I love him anyway. Well, you, can't, you ain't got to do all of that, yo. <laughs> and so I was able to structure a way in his calendar that fit not only me into his life, his, his life that was getting extremely busy, but also our children's lives because they were watching. I came from a fatherless home. Um, my father was not around, so I did not want that for my children, even though he was in the house, for them to feel like daddy was with us, but he really wasn't with us. And so that was extremely important for me because I did not want that for my children to feel like they did not have a relationship with their father. So we were able to schedule time for the children. Mm -hmm. Each of them, the three of them, have set times on his calendar. Our teenager comes home at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. She has from three to four to spend with her father. When she wants to use it. When she wants to use it because she's 17. <laughs> and we all know how that goes. I'm 17 years old, <laughs> moody as all get out. And then our seven-year-old, as he, <laughs> right, he loves, as he loves to call it, Daddy Nico time. And they do whatever, it's whatever he wants to do for those, that half hour, that hour, whatever. He picks the activity and they do it together. Um, and then our youngest, he's three going on four, but you know, you chase him around a few times and he's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, and then of course, my time with him after the children are sleeping, we have a set dedicated time mind, body, soul. for us, as we call it, mind, body, soul time. Mm -hmm. And it's where we sit, we talk about whatever we want to talk about, our day, our week, we catch up, our dreams, our goals, what we want to accomplish for the next week, the next month, whatever we want to talk about, that is our mind, body, soul time. And it has worked so well. And I can't tell y'all how, how important it is for you as a couple to create that and have that specific time for each other. Even when your lives, when you feel like so much is going on, your lives are being overwhelmed. You've got jobs, you've got children, you've got all kinds of stuff hitting you from all directions. But if you're not intentional and you're not deliberate about setting time for each other, then life will take over. And when you wake up one day, you'll say, what has happened. Yes. So that, that was extremely important for us. Yep. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest, man. Listen, I am a firm believer in marriages winning. That's right, including yours. So if you know somebody that might be able to use this information, or you might be able to use this information, subscribe, comment in the section below, like, and like I said, share with someone else, all right? If you want to reach me on social media, yeah, my Instagram link is over to the left, all right? Peace. <laughs>